Hi there, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Capricorn, you guys are my final read. Thank you so much for everything that you have done for the channel. All your likes, shares, and subscribes. Uh, I'm hoping for really good energy for you guys today. Some clarity on whatever situation it is that you need clarity on. You know what? Yeah, look. Might be dealing with a Leo here. Okay. Um, I need to find some of my messages here. I do apologize. I want to make sure that you guys understand that um, I do channel, okay, quite a bit before uh, each reading. So for you guys, I've been channeling for about two weeks. Um, you guys, I will definitely tell because of that happiness factor that was at the bottom of the deck and maybe a new opportunity. The, the slide that I prepared at the beginning of this reading is Cupid. And it's a painting that is located in, I believe, the Getty Gallery out in California. Um, and it is a woman defending herself from Eros, okay, which is a dwarf planet, uh, also known as Cupid. So that's the baby version of Cupid, not the grown man version, right? See, look, you're headed towards a relationship here. Um, I didn't even do an intro either, so for all of you that have... Um, are new to the channel, please know that not all stories will resonate. These are the type of stories that um, you get many in one story. Okay, my vision is pretty wide. So bear with us and through to the end. Oh, and I like your comments. I do. So you guys make sure you're sharing those. Mm -hmm. Chariot moving forward here. Cancer energy. Somebody is going to be making a choice. There might be some sort of reconciliation here. Okay, but this is definitely in regards to a love relationship. Tell me about this love relationship for Capricorn. Mm -hmm. Unexpected tower moment and somebody having to release burdens here. Um, moving forward unexpectedly. Because you release your burden, somebody finally seeing the truth about a situation using their discernment. This could also be a lawyer. Car accident here. Might cause you a lot of problems. See, I told you there's multiple stories that come out. Queen of Swords energy is more than that, though. Queen of Swords energy is a timing aspect I'm hearing. So, you know, Virgo season. Um, let's see. It could also be, let's see, Queen of Swords could also be Libra. The end of Virgo season into Libra. So, you know, some of you guys be careful for that. Uh, King of Swords. Your other person trying to find clarity as well. I feel like in the past they pretty pronounced here. I'm feeling this need to address the fact that there are berries that have not bloomed. Things that have not bloomed here. Multiple options. I consider that as being multiple options. Many things to take care of so that profitability can come through for this other person. I mean, yep, Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. So that it is they can receive what it is that they want. Mm-hmm star energy. I feel like they think the universe is definitely working with them. Um, moon cycle here. I, I was feeling the moon energy. I'm not sure when the next full moon is. I know it's coming up very quickly here. So I'm going to take a look and see. Uh, this moon energy though. Yep. Secrets and truth. Toxicity. For some of you guys, I am feeling... Uh, somebody makes a living, <laughs> I know this is petty, but somebody makes a living out of having car accidents here. So it might cause you strife in the long run, and it's a very toxic thing, okay? You need to think and, and plan accordingly uh, because you are dealing with somebody like this. Yeah. 
I feel like there's a truth that's going to be coming out. Somebody's going to be, okay. And not only that, with this moon energy, and I believe it's a full moon energy here, there's going to be a conversation that happens that does not, it's not truthful with these pieces that you have here. Okay, so the next full moon, hold on. is September 2nd, which I believe is coming up here in the next four days or so. Yeah, so by Wednesday of next week. Mm -hmm. You know, spirit has a way of doing things. Somebody's trying to hide toxicity here that they're planning. Mm -hmm. Look at that. I feel like you should be able to put an ending to whatever it is that this person is trying to plan. Okay. Um, plan of action. But it, know that it's something that... I'm not taking all of that. Hold on. You know, it's, you, you look at this other person and you think that they have it all together, but I, I feel like they've just been through painful experiences for some reason. I don't know why. I'm hearing the phrase, hurt people hurt other people. I've actually said that in a couple of readings for mid-August. It's just the energy. Uh, clarity. I, I'm feeling the need for boundaries here with this card. Okay, so there might be somebody who wants to move forward, but there's some sort of restrictions on traveling here could create tower moments for family members. What is, what is up with this love relationship, though? I'm hearing I have to get all the cards out to tell you guys about this love as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of you are prayerful. I think that 2020 has just changed our lives completely. You know, there's a lot of us that lived traveling around the world. And all of that came to like a complete halt. I'm not taking all of those. I'll take these, though. That is a lot. Emperor, so that Saturn energy has to do with money, abundance, blessings. Look, we have the Emperor and the Empress here with an offer from a king. Two different, yeah. Love, money, true love. I feel like this is true love. There's money. There's abundance here. There's happiness with this love that's coming in. Please be blessing. Justice. Libra energy again. Somebody being on guard, but okay, so I'm not quite sure why I'm seeing that. Somebody's stuck in their own headspace here. You know, Eight of Swords as an outcome is someone that um, feels imprisoned. And it's probably the masculine here with this, this emperor at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, some sort of financial aspect here. They had to make a choice. Moving on. Something they regret. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so Leo energy here is about the family. It is about romance. I'm trying to see. I mean, there's a lot of players here. We do have a Cancer here. We have... Um, King of Swords would be Gemini. We have an Aquarius. We have a Libra. We also have fixed energy here. We have a Leo going on. An Aries. Everybody is here. So I feel like this is cyclical. This is the love relationship right here I'm hearing. A balanced love relationship. Something that's making you happy. Bottom of the deck here. But what's up with this? Okay, so I'm guessing that there was things that have gone on in the past that are causing ego issues. Somebody needs to move forward from that and choose this, this new opportunity, choose this blessing here. That's what it feels like. Wow. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Information about holding on. Temperance. Sagittarian energy. wisdom this is seeking information about abundance here four of pentacles 
This is a self-sustaining nature. This is supportive. See how the wall is behind him? And I almost feel like this is somebody who feels like there could be somebody who has a wall and they're keeping everything to themselves. Do you see how they're doing that? And it looks like on the horizon, there's a new, a new opportunity, a new pentacle. I know that this is his crown, but if you really think about this, this is a, the opportunity of yellow is, is bright. It's shiny. It's, it's clarity it's heart all mixed together blue and green right there is a need for action here do you see how this is like an orange so passion I, I don't know why I'm blending colors I think this is such a vibrant deck it's able to yes look blending yep and the action that's going to be taken it's going to happen pretty quickly um you you need to kind of hurry up with it Whatever this bond is, whatever blending this information is together. There's a blending. A blending that has to happen because of somebody who, you know, needs to learn or some sort of communication about how this person is stuck. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit's coming in to, to offer that wisdom as well. Tell me about this star card. Star card. This is a, an offer of love here. Look, we'll see temperance at the bottom of the deck again, even though I shuffled. So this star card, the universe is saying, yes, we are providing you with the truth about love. Reconciliation towards love of some sort as well. Possibly after a tower moment. Mm -hmm. Something that has to be worked on. Tell me about the tower moment. What happened with... Capricorn, please. There was an ending. An ending. Yeah, something that was supposed to be worked on. You know, and it might take... Hold on. Victory. Success. Working on someone's ego here as well. I feel like the truth is going to be coming out about the balance from the universe because this is an unexpected moment, but this is also a blessing in disguise. I feel like somebody could be getting a job as well. Be careful though, because they may not pay you what you're worth. They're coming in and making it seem like a bright and shiny offer, which it probably is because you need that abundance right now. You know, there's some of you also, and I think this love situation is just, this is what's going to make the world go round. These are going to be 11, 11 moments that come in. Um, because if you notice, <laughs> what's the one thing that's not in this spread? Cups. This is, it's <laughs> the only cups that we saw were the king and the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck well here's five of cups so somebody regretting something interesting regretting what juggling and the truth coming out about a third party here so lack of love but this is in regards to a love relationship ego working on ego Okay, and there's the love. Releasing burdens of love here. Mm -hmm. Going within. And balancing so that you can find your Ten of Cups. Because there was some sort of secret within this relationship. Okay, that you weren't seeing. And I think the happiness was false here. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's going to take a lot of work. And self-love. Yeah, see, look, it came back. I just kind of flipped. I went right to it. It's this ego. But it's also a victory for you, Capricorn, in learning how to love yourself. Mm -hmm. Messages. Mm -hmm. You also could be, and it could be that you have a hermit. 
you know, that's trying, or not a hermit, a Virgo, sorry. Virgo season, you'll be learning how to balance things out or you're actually dealing with one. We do have Pisces energy here. We have Taurus energy here. Yeah, like I said, the moment that you weren't seeing something that was supposed to bring clarity, deceptive, somebody wasn't seeing what they were supposed to learn clearly. Yeah, I think they may have mistaken it for a missed, op not a missed opportunity, but for something that was um, harmful when it wasn't. I hope this is making sense to you guys, because I, I feel like there's a lot here. Okay, yeah, temperance is at the bottom of the deck again. So, Sagittarian energy, new opportunity. You know, wisdom coming in to walk away using discernment because, like I said, September 2nd, there's going to be some sort of cycle that brings about either a mental sabotage or some sort of mind games and manipulation, you know, about time invested and things that aren't happening because there's secrets in the relationship. Yeah. So I, I feel like something's going to be revealed, you know, they're asking you to be on the defense because in the past, I feel like this is clarifying this being on the defense. You were looking for information and you were stuck. You're stuck in a situation where you were holding on to something. You're possibly holding on to this lover here because here this Queen of Cups has come out and this is somebody who was taking slow action to manifest. <sighs> Well, it looks like a new opportunity of some sort, a blessing of some sort, but there's a lot of people here. This is all court cards. Look at that. You know, so if we, we take this as just, no, this is not energy. This is all people around you making a choice of abundance, how you're actually going to get there, you know, being strong, manifesting what it is that you, by doing something, you know, slowly expressing yourself here, emotionally, making sure that you're doing something with purpose, running an empire that's smooth. Knight of Pentacles and the Lovers, Gemini, and an earth sign. So Gemini. And you know, with Gemini, because North Node is in Gemini, I've just been thinking soul purpose with that card for the for a while now. Um, you also have two kings here and you have an emperor. So things will be manifested. One, if there are two uh, masculines here, one of you is kind of taking control of the situation and the other one is going to kind of, you know, hold back a little bit with their emotions. I do see that. But it, it's all about what it is you choose to manifest, okay? Justice. Justice, please. <laughs> Came back out again. You guys, wisdom is what is needed here. This same three cards just came back out. They're like, we've already told you. Spirit is coming in. We're offering you new opportunity. There is something that you need to be walking away from. You know, and with this moon cycle, see, and that's why it's so big. They keep saying walk away. The moon cycle is big for releasing, you know, the past so that new love can come in. Multiple options, you know, being planned here. Somebody regrets this. Whatever it was that they were planning on. It's like this other person here was offering the opportunity to help, but they were really focused on what it was that they wanted. Right? I feel like somebody didn't recognize you were a soulmate. That's, I kind of feel that way. It's like they did, but they still had self-serving needs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like there could be a divorce coming up here. Yeah, and this is just destiny. It's cyclical. Yeah, because of betrayals in regards to soulmate relationships. You know, the confusion. You know, there could have been multiple options here. There's some sort of abuse of love. Not seeing it clearly. Yeah, not seeing it clearly. So, you know, back to Eros. You know, the little guy trying to stab the lady with a, an arrow. Eros has two arrows. He has a gold one and he has a lead one. Um, depending on which one you are struck with, 
depends on how you treat the person that is around you. Okay, so he can be a little bit of a trickster. Um, in this particular case, I feel somebody has gotten the lead arrow because of the aversion here. You know, with the total tire moment, somebody wanting to work on a relationship and another person really just keeping a lot of secrets and not sharing. Um, they could be someone that is in the limelight, you know. Um, so it would be, and I, I almost feel like this is a public divorce here. I don't, I feel like love wins though. Love does win in, in your higher purpose, in your higher calling, your higher consciousness. Love is saying unexpectedly, we know that this is a good thing. Okay. And we're going to work towards the betterment of everybody of all involved here for this relationship so that things are balanced and fair. Um, and it's, I feel like it's just warning you that for those of you that do need to move on, you're going to have to work at it because for some of you, you could, you know, still be trying to lurk and see what someone else is doing and it'll keep you stuck and trying to hold on to that person. Okay. And spirit is like, that's just going to cause drama. Knight of Swords. Going to cause drama. Yeah, because this person is single and is possibly dating again. Okay. Uh, and they have the opportunity to choose to move on and leave whatever out in the cold. So I think that some of you, uh, whether you are the cross watcher or this is you Capricorn, may be watching your significant other move on. So that's interesting. You know, there was definitely a lot of love at the beginning. Um... I see success here. Yeah, I do. See, look at that. It can't, and I just lifted him moving slowly towards manifesting something. This is a pair, but victory in between the two of them. But this is also ego too. So the, I feel like the universe is going to have a very, very big hand in this energy. There's a lot of Leo energy here. Leo and Jupiter. So passion coming through. Some sort of delay, though. You know, this is time invested. Time invested. But they're secrets. Intuitively knowing. Intuitively knowing about something here. Yep. That somebody is just dissatisfied. Mm -hmm. Within this relationship. Wow. Okay. I wanted that clarification. Um, let's do... A crystal. Let's do a crystal for you guys. Oh, Lumerian quartz and hematite. Okay, so malachite at the bottom of the deck, love, prosperity. I feel like spirit is saying if we want to nudge you in the right way, what you need to know is that, that you need to take the opportunity, okay, Lumerian quartz, to love yourself. You know, Unlock the mysteries of the universe within this relationship. Put in the work that, you know, we are trying to show you. We're putting in work. I think spirit came out so many times with that temperance card. That was Archangel Michael. This is protection. And then that's what we pull up here with this eight, this infinity, which was also another channel uh, thing. We also have four here, which is 12. So three. All right. This is about the creative side. So hematite is... Um, mainly known for protection. What it does is it picks up negative vibes around it and it shields you, the wearer, um, by cracking. It takes the hit for you. Okay, so the universe here is taking a hit for you. They're trying to show you not to stay stuck in something that doesn't serve you. Ending a cycle within the relationship Okay, look, I did it again. Look, I went straight to it. Justice. I was asking about, no, see, I said temperance. Uh, I said justice, but I meant temperance. Look at that. They're blending a situation together so that something new is going to come out because there's been so much dissatisfaction. It's going to be up to you to listen to what spirit has to say about how to unlock whatever it is that they're offering you. But at the same time, you need to stay protected. Okay, you need to protect your heart here, protect your, your love. There's a victory. Staying balanced, yin and yang, as above, so below. 
this is yin and yang. I feel that very, very deeply. All right, so I'm going to head over into the extended because I also want to see more about your person's headspace here. Um, if you guys want a uh, personal reading, it is gecempresscollection.etsy.com. You can reach me there, email me, um, and we can get it all worked out. Thank you so much for all the support that you guys have given to the channel and to me. I thank you. Peace and elbow grease.